Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great weekend, safe weekend. Let's make it a great week, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. That's if they tell you the truth, right? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 23, NASDAQ up 14, S&P's up 7.5. Gold contract flat at 1,313 an ounce. Silver off 21 cents. At twenty-one dollars and sixty-two cents an ounce, platinum down a dollar at one thousand four fifty-three an ounce. Copper off four pennies at three twenty-five a pound. Light sweet crude flat at ninety-four dollars and forty-seven cents a barrel. Bonds up six ticks at one thirty-three thirty. That's the thirty-year bond. Five-year bond is up by five ticks at one twenty-six thirty. King dollar down one hundred and seventy-five ticks, trading out at eighty point six three. The euro is up 32 at 135, and the yen is trading out there at 98.63. My phone number is 877-927-6648. Just call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're up five and a half dollars. You did 570 million shares. You are into the trading day of the high, which is the 30th of. October. That high out there is 17.75, and you know what? It's game to basically be tested once again. Dow Industrials. What do we have with the Dow Industrials? Dow Industrials. You at a price point of uh, 15,639. You know that high up there that uh, was tested on the open on Wednesday. That was the 15,721. Gave it up in a heartbeat. Bottom line. We'll see whether it gets tested. NASDAQ Composite. We have with the Composite, she was a sideways move out here, light volume, uh, up 14 bucks. You're at 39 to 36. Uh, the Composite's been up here now for about two weeks, two trading weeks, folks. We did 1.7 billion today versus the 1.9. And the, you know, you are into the bar. So once you're into that bar, I mean, in the 30th, the, that bar, the top of that bar, is 66. The bottom of that bar is 19. 39 of the first two numbers. Uh, when we take a look at that bar, that was from the 30th. The so today you had okay. So we had uh, 1.7 versus 1.9. That's how this thing is shaken. If we go over to the SPY, we let, we look at the spy. This is what we have with the spy. Spy today did 79 million shares. That's after going south uh, with 142 on Friday. Uh, Qs. We take a look at the, the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? We did 16 million on the way up. Well, actually, you know, even Friday was a sideways day in the Qs. We did uh, 30 million Friday, but sideways day. Small caps. We take a look at the Russell 2000. We look at the IWM. Now, the IWM screaming. Uh, big, big volume on the way down. On it looks like it must have been a, it's probably a resettlement to some of the small caps because on Friday we did 117 million. Uh, you're up today on 29. We had a high that was established out there on 30. Gold contract. Okay, so let's take a look at this baby. So, what we have with gold is this. Okay, see, Friday, what we did is this. Okay, we right now are trading at 13.14. Friday, you are into the day of strength from October 17th. Now, the top of that day of strength, folks, was 13.24. The bottom is 12.73. Is you know, when you line up like that, and we're talking 12.73 at the bottom, well, guess what? That's where it wants to go. Um, lighter volume, no doubt, but uh, we did 137,000 contracts on Friday. Today, you went up slightly with 73,000. It's like, oh, man, that's, that's not what I wanted to see at all. Uh, bottom line, not the end of the world, but this does want to go test the initial sign of strength off the bottom, which the last bottom, which is established on the 15th. So I suspect it's going to get into it. And what is that all about? It's all about King Dollar, folks. Uh, what we had with King Dollar last week is this. King Dollar 
had a false break downtown. And when you do a false break, that false break was on October 22nd. It blows out the bottom of a range that had been in. It did it with lighter volume. Bottom line, came right back inside that range. Took all of uh, four days to get back inside the range. And then had four days of strength. Uh, the way King Dollar is set up right now, she wants to run up to 85. So she's broken that downtrend that had been in place since July 5th. That says it all uh, when you take a look at inside that gold market. That's what I suspect we have have it happening here. Bonds. You take a look at the bond market. Uh, what we have with bonds is this. Bonds also want to go topside. And this is where it's going to get really wild. So the 30-year bond right now is at 133.30. Uh, when we had taken out the swing point on the 17th, took it out with volume, did all of the above, that 30-year, guess what? You know, it wants to trade into 138. We take a look at the 10-year and with the TYZ3. Okay, T. The 10-year right now is trading out of the, at uh, 126.30. That wants to get into the 128 area. Um, that's going to basically, that's with that saying, and the 10-year right now is yielding 2.6. What that's saying is that King Dollar wants to go higher. Bonds want to go higher in price, lower in yield. Um, and that sets up to me uh, that, you know, you're going to see this market. It looks like it wants to test the highs again, but it doesn't look to me like it's going to hold. Why? Because King Dollar wants to move in a big way, but the bonds also have not broken. So, so here, let's go look at something here. I want to show you something. The, the longer-term trend on the bonds has not broken. If we take a look and you put this on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is the, the bond market itself actually didn't make it down to where the breakout area was from. The breakout area in bonds, folks, uh, went topside was August of 2011. That area was 127.09. We got down to 129.28, which is almost 130. You know, it was three points away from the bottom and if it goes to the bottom, it's okay. So the bottom line is that that trend is not broken, you know. And we've been consolidating, and we've been consolidating for quite a while. You know, you're talking about uh, almost two years at these levels. Now, just as the dollar got down to a lower range, bonds also get down to a lower range. They would come back inside a higher range. They have quite a way to go in order to do that. They have to get up to the 140.21 area. But bottom line, those bonds look to me like they want to go higher. Um, Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> the bubble's going to be in Twitter, I can tell you that. So Twitter today, they've, you talk about they're going to take in some big bread, folks. And this is what you have. Um, and this market, I suspect, is going to get held up until Twitter comes out with their IPO. So uh, the right now, the IPO is... Always described several times. So, every, you know, all these institutions want to buy Twitter. And that's oversubscribed at $25 a share. And, folks, that's up from last week. They figured the range last week was from $17 to $20. Then they come out uh, this morning and put the range from $23 to $25. Now it's $25. And guess what? Overnight, this thing may, may go up again. Uh, so, you're talking about big, big numbers, okay? Uh, the new range ind indicates a market value of $13.6 billion, and that's 11.8 times. So check this out. That's 11.8 times the amount of sales. So let's say you do a million. They get, they get an 11.8 million for that million in sales. Not profits, just sales. Big number. Uh, right now, the multiple on Facebook is 11.5, and the multiple on LinkedIn is 12.2. Uh, all big numbers. There's no doubt about that. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Some of the Dow stocks. You had Caterpillar up 30 cents. Exxon Mobil was up 228. We had uh, Oxy up 208. There's some juice inside. Let's go over to Ox, 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 Exxon Mobil for a second. So Exxon gives up 228. Put juice behind that, man. So we're coming into we're at 92.10. And from 9310, uh, we had come down with 23 million or up with 20 million. There's, there's some juice there. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We had the Dow finish down uh, up rather 23. NASDAQ up 14. SP's up 8. We're going to be right back.